Over the last few years, one of my most played consoles has been the Nintendo Switch. The collection of great first party support, fantastic indies, and a handful of good AAA ports has made it my way to play for just about most of my multi-platform games. While I still enjoy playing on my PS5 and my Series X, they don't offer the same portability that my Switch does. Sure, they have alternatives like remote playing to smartphones, but it's not the most ideal experience. Luckily, the Backbone controller looks to solve that. The concept of playing with a controller on a mobile phone isn't new to me. I tried out xCloud on my Pixel 3a with an Xbox controller, and though it was nice, I prefer something that just feels more natively built. The Joy-Con on the Switch were tailor-made for it, and while I can use controllers on my phone, the clunky clip-on setup just doesn't feel as good as my Nintendo Switch. It's for all these reasons I usually skipped out on remote play once my Vita started to show its age. At least, that was the case until I got my Backbone controller. This nifty little device is expensive, I'm not gonna lie. However, it is a pretty decent investment for those just looking to play mobile games. For me though, part of what kept me away from mobile games and remote play wasn't the fact that they weren't good, it was the lack of natively feeling controls. It's cool that I can play Halo, COD Mobile, and Spider-Man Miles Morales on my iPhone, but I don't want to if I have to use a controller clip or touchscreen controls. With that in mind, this $100 backbone controller was a heavy investment into that ecosystem, but I don't regret it. It has this extended grip design that slides in your iPhone into place, connecting via the lightning port and holding onto the sides of the phone. At the bottom of the grips is a port for both a charging cable for your phone and a headphone jack. In terms of controls, it feels almost like a compact Xbox controller where the sides feel like a slightly bigger Joy-Con. It feels good in hand, and while it's not my favorite controller for gaming, it's great for my iPhone 12. Speaking of which, this currently only works for iPhone. An Android version is in the works, but it hasn't been released at the time of making this video. However, if you have an iPhone ranging from an iPhone 6S and onward, you should be fine. Now, the Backbone isn't the first grip-like controller for phones either. Razer made their own that's even cheaper, and I've tried it before. I just didn't really like the feeling of it all that much, but what it lacks the most is what brought me to spend that $100 on the Backbone and that software. On this controller is a built-in capture button for screenshots and screen recordings, but also a Backbone menu button. When this controller is connected to an iPhone, pressing the Backbone button opens up the Backbone app. The real reason I bought this, its dedicated launcher. This app organizes games supporting the controller, including game streaming apps like Steam Link, PS4 Remote Play, and the Xbox app. There's even a built-in network system that lets you friend other friends that have the controller, so if I jump into a game of like Call of Duty Mobile, my backbone friends can join me in game and in voice chat. Simply put, this application unifies the games and apps on my phone to make it stop feeling more like a phone and make it feel more like a dedicated gaming device. Truth be told, this is the closest to a PlayStation or Xbox handheld I felt since the PlayStation Vita. May it rest in peace. But honestly, I love this controller. Expensive price tag aside, I now find myself gravitating to this for COD Mobile and some platforming games on my PS5 and Series X. Of course, I'm not going to be playing any competitive games where I don't want my rank to go down on this thing, but for something more casual, let's say God of War or maybe a quick Titanfall 2 match, I'll play it on my phone. There are some improvements I'd like to see though. At the moment, there isn't a great way to break this thing down to make it more portable when it's not on your phone and not all cases are supported with this thing already. The haptic feedback synchronization is great on mobile games. I just wish it worked on game streaming applications too, but that might be more on Sony and Microsoft than on the Backbone controller. Other than these little quirks, I kind of love this thing, which, you know, as someone with the PS5 and the Series X, you know, a dedicated machine, is kind of crazy to me. But I also think it shows how Sony and Microsoft could easily tap into the handheld market. Well, at least if Sony actually tried this time. But that's my review of the Backbone controller for iPhone. A very expensive controller, but one worth investing into, especially if you want a dedicated gaming device that's a little higher quality than something like a Nintendo Switch. But let me know what you think. How many of you guys actually play games on your phone? Do you guys use the remote play applications? Do you find yourself wanting a physical controller more aside than just the DualShock 4 or the Xbox controller when you do remote play on your phone? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you all very much for watching, but until the next video, you guys can find me over on the Discord server or in the comments down below.